Welcome everyone to a Pac-12 off-season chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Warith Alatiche from Oregon State, back with the Beavers. After an unbelievable March run with Oregon State, Pac-12 tournament title, most outstanding player, all the way to the Elite Eight. They were the Cinderella of March Madness. First off, Warith, what went into the decision to return? I mean... I really just wanted to test the waters, get some feedback, see what teams had to say about me, and then I was going to make my decision from there. I got that feedback, and I, I felt that one more year would do me good. So I decided to return back to Oregon State. All right, so what specifically were you told as to aspects of your game? And we know you can board, block shots. You're in the top five in the Pac-12 in both categories. What else were you told you need to do for that next level? Uh, uh, from teams, I got feedback. They told me that uh, my handle was better than they expected, and they told me that uh, I needed to improve my shooting to maximize my potential. All right, so Oregon State went on this great run. But there was reason, I mean, that you were deemed Cinderella because you were picked 12, not expected to even advance multiple rounds in the Pac-12 tournament. In right. fact, it looked like, you know, kind of dicey against UCLA. You go on the great run, you win it. And then obviously on the great run in March, how do you make sure that that wasn't a one-off that what we saw in March is what we should expect in November? Uh, just, uh, we just, we just have to build on it going back into uh, this season. We have to build on that, continue to uh, create chemistry, get better and just things like that. What did you see though in March? that maybe you didn't see in terms of consistency. And I know it was an unprecedented year, but still in December, January, and February. Just the hunger guys played with. Everybody really wanted to win. Everybody wanted to prove everybody that was doubting us wrong. And we all just played together as a team and we trusted each other. All right, so on this roster, and I know everything's been sort of late developing, yourself included, but no Ethan Thompson. And he was obviously a huge part of this success. How do you replace them and make this a cohesive unit in the fall? Uh, I just think uh, just through playing with each other, just meshing, improving our chemistry. We might not have Ethan Thompson uh, returning next year with us, but we'll definitely have guys that can feel what he left behind. Such as? Or who? Could you say that again? Who? Who? Yes. Uh, I mean, just... Uh, Guys returning like me, uh, Jared, Marie, Roman, you know. So plenty of people to fill that spot. But listen, you know, Oregon State has been, especially with Oregon and that, that two-game road trip, you know, that mentality in the past has been, well, can we get the split? You know, are we going to go to Corvallis? But now things are going to change because of what you guys did. How will this team handle the expectations, especially at home, of winning? I mean, just like uh, like I said earlier, just continue to build off what we did last year. And we all have confidence that we're going to be a top team in the pack. So we're already confident in ourselves. Even though you were within this bubble, this controlled environment, now that you're a few months obviously removed from that, what was it like to be a part of something so special, so historic from really from the Pac-12 tournament on uh, that, that run that you guys went on? Yeah, in the moment, I didn't think too much about it. I just was playing. I was enjoying it. But looking back, yeah, it's, it's definitely it's definitely something that's, like, great. And I'm happy that me and my teammates could accomplish something like that. As I mentioned at the beginning, how often did you think about how razor thin your chances were? I mean, because you would not have made it to the NCAA tournament had you not won the Pac-12 tournament. Right. We, yeah, yeah. We all knew. We all knew that our chances of making it to the uh, – uh, NCAA tournament relied on what we did in the Pac-12 tournament, and we knew how it, like guys and everybody else felt about us, but we just knew that we just played together and played well that we could make it. All right. So before I let you go, what does a what does next season look like for you and Oregon State if everything is clicking? I think I think you can expect this to finish top three in the Pac for sure. For sure. That's what we're aiming for. Love the confidence. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. You can have a normal summer, workouts, which would be great after what everyone experienced a year ago. 
Yes, Stay sir. safe, and uh, we'll obviously talk to you next season. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me.